<laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> Currently, we are at work. <laughs> work has to be done. <laughs> so, guess what? We're on. I'm on call again, and I'm with the kids for this Sunday call. <laughs> Man has got to eat. Man has got to chop. Chop, chop. So, happy Sunday, guys. Uh, I wish us a glorious September. I wish that we're in church to praise. But nonetheless, we're going to turn work to worship center. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Oh, say yeah. Good morning, dear. Sorry for coming late. No hope tomorrow so we got to work again tomorrow but i'm so glad this is just 301 and we are going home also yeah. something very good mm. something very elating is happening to us today as a family my sister in whose house i live is returning home today and i'm really excited so i think we should branch the supermarket to get some few things that we'll be needing at home just a few things so that we don't have to come out again once she comes you know we have everything we need in the house so I want to branch the supermarket I'll see you when I get there
now and i am so so excited and what excites me most is the fact that uh i'm going to be welcoming my sister back home today <laughs> um, yes even the kids are excited they are very excited yes. i'm happy because of course uh the work will be lesser i'll you know we will become two taking care of these four kids and um, i'll have less less things to attend to like bathing three of them every morning i uh, will have to maybe bath two or one or even none of them for now also we have more money because of course it's at home you want to you know stock up uh food stuff because we've just been managing on my own budget so now we're going to have combined budgets financial financially we are going to you know be buoyant more buoyant and um, why am i elated again see it's been boring for me you know sometimes uh it's been mentally disturbing having to be the only adult in the house with four kids i think at the point i started reasoning like a kid so i'll have uh, another adult with me and i think that's uh, a win that's a win for me oh let me quickly tell you the story of my sister okay because some of you might be wondering where my sister is coming from why my sister was away from her home why I had to be taking care of her kids and all of that yeah so my sister uh, went to a private university to read law I can't remember precisely what year but I know she left home to a private school to read law and she happened to be one of the pioneer sets so they were the first law students of that school that year and I recall that sometimes 2009, sometimes 2009, 2010, she she graduated. But unfortunately, the the news went around that the uh, NUC withheld the school's accreditation for the faculty, so they couldn't, you know, they couldn't mobilize them to law school. And that was really devastating for us as a family. It was really devastating for so many of the of the students, I must say. But I don't know what happened. You know, Nigeria is such a lawless country. Because I cannot continue, I cannot stop to wonder why none of the parents actually took that case up. None of the parents sued the school, or probably they did and it didn't gain so much audience. But the school has just gone on like that to continue studying um, um to continue to you know take in more law students even without accreditation and they've held so many destinies at stake for so long so nobody questioned them nobody sanctioned the school nothing happened and the students had to go on with life so a lot of the students or at least the, the, most of the women that i know they got married they start having children some of them went into businesses some of them were practicing in law firms as what i don't know you know and they were being paid peanuts and for some guys some of them went back to another school to read law to pursue their passion and um, for my sister she became a poultry farmer you know i told you yesterday when i was um doing my making my cooking vlog that my sister is a farmer so that's the genesis of uh, a business so she had to venture into business and she chose to become a poultry farmer so how many years down the line just last year since 2010 i don't know how the school even managed to mobilize them for nyc without having to go to law school but we know she served and after service nothing happened till last year when she was able to you know they called some of them like two years ago that they could come the school had already got its uh, accreditation to go to law school and then they were you know um they were making ballots for these pioneer sets i learned it was balloting basically for these pioneer sets to you know in include some of them a number of them uh, on the list of the people that were going to law school per year so they started last year and they enrolled some of them last year some of the pioneer sets but uh, my sister's name did not make the list but okay they said two years ago my sister's name did not make the list but last year fortunately while they balloted her uh, name made the list 
and she went to law school and that's the reason why i've had to you know stay in the house and take care of the kids till she got back and you see that i have every reason to be very happy because she's coming back today and we're not just celebrating her return she went as a farmer but she's returning as a lawyer <laughs> my sister went as a farmer you to hear that one but she's coming back as a barista <laughs> it calls for celebration <laughs> even the children are happy <laughs> so uh, she's coming back today and we can't wait to receive her we can't wait to have her back oh <sighs> so i will ensure to capture the moment when she returns even if it is late at night i must capture that moment because i want to i want you guys to see the excitement and the joy on the faces of these children it's not easy living a toddler living a toddler and an adolescent eight years old is adolescent Abby. <laughs> not leaving those two kids in the care of um a younger mommy you know and this younger mommy happens to have two other kids and you know uh, it was frustrating at some point having to deal with four kids and that's why i give kudos to mothers especially single mothers with plenty plenty number of children hey even to have one or two and be a single mother it's not easy let alone having multiple children like say two three four i know i have been there so i have the experience of whatever you're going through at least i have a glimpse of what you're experiencing as a single mom of many children you know he's your it can be you know draining it can be exhausting so i'll make sure to capture the moment when she returns so that's why we bought two loaves of bread to celebrate this because the celebration is on budget <laughs> so hello guys um it's me again the time now is 9 44 pm and my sister has just called that she's at her last bus stop i should come and pick her up and that's exactly what i'm going to do right now and the children have continued to pester me asking whether their mom's still coming home or not and i got to tell them no your mom is no longer coming so i'd really love to show you the moment when